Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Hard Mode. We are jumping in once again and people have requested Moss Windler, so we're going to play Moss Windler and I'm even more happy to play him than I was previously because guess what? Neighborino, being the absolute amazing person that he is, went and did some hard mode tweaking so that you lose a little bit more money on death. Um, well, on, on being hit, sorry. Uh, so it makes hard mode a little more doable, which is really fun because this character's great. I know people want to see it more. And just a quick little thing before we get into this run. Cell's item pack, Cell's mod, uh, the one that we've been using for quite a while now. Um, she's actually going in and doing the very last update for that mod. Very shortly, it's going to be a lot of tweaking to old items, maybe some re-sprites, maybe some new synergies, a few things here and there. But she has a little um, questionnaire for anyone that is currently playing with the mod. So any of you out there that have used the mod previously or are still using it now, or even if you just know it really well from my videos or someone else's, please do um, go into the comment section or description below and take that questionnaire. It would very much help her out in improving the mod and hopefully making the next update the best one yet. Either way, let's jump on in and start our runoff and see what we can do. First time we played this character, character, oh sorry I got hiccups. First time we played this character we had a few issues, a few teething issues with the keys on restarts being a bit strange and the amount of money being a little bit too, too difficult on hard mode. I gave some suggestions, and Neighborino uh, liked quite a lot of them. Oh, okay, we're doing a rainbow run, I guess. Um, <laughs> which, actually, no, no. Do you know what? We're not going to do a rainbow run, because it kind of defeats the entire purpose of this character. So let's not do that, because we can't use the shops or chests. Um, but yes, uh, I I had some some suggestions, and Neighborino liked quite a lot of them, and I think one of them is taken on board. I'm very, very happy to see that. Uh, but either way, the character as is now is, is super, super cool. As I said, this is another... Uh, one of these characters that's just iconic. I think the, the game now, at least in my opinion, has three or four really iconic custom characters, being um, this character, the Swindler, the Afflicted, um, and the Pursued are the main ones that come to mind. Of course, there's quite a lot of others out there. Um, the Shade is also a really, really interesting one as well. Um, but they're the ones that come to mind when you think of like top tier custom characters. Um, and it would it would be disappointing if this character isn't one of the most the most downloaded ones. I don't know if it's available outside of Neighborino's mod, but I'd actually suggest uploading it as a standalone character if it isn't, because it's a very, very good character and not everyone wants to play with mod packs. Some people just want to try out custom characters. I think that'd be a good idea, but even even still, Neighborino's pack is amazing. So yeah, let's see if we can re-remember how to play this character. Of course, we are um we, we are starting with the the shotgun here. It's like a better sawn off. I quite like the shotgun, actually, uh, even with the range. I would very much like to get ourselves a, um, a weapon early on, though, to um, grab that real quick. Hey, we've got a lot of money to start with there. Very nice. Up to 71 casings already. Very, very nice indeed. Whoa, that's a new enemy. That's a very cool new enemy. That was awesome. Not seen that before, but I very much liked it. Okay, let's be careful here. It's a pretty difficult little room here. Ooh, I did lose some casings there. So apparently we shouldn't drop as many casings when we get hit. Um, which is really nice because one of the biggest complaints I had about this character is picking up dropped casings can be a bit tedious and a bit a bit annoying in certain rooms. And it can just lead to more damage and more damage and more damage. Anyone that's seen episode 70 of my original Gungeon series will will know what is, what is pain. Ooh, that attack seems to have been tweaked a little bit. Could you please go away? Damn it. See... I took the risk. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. It's my it's my problem with it. It's just it's, it's not a problem with the actual um, mechanic itself. It's a problem with me. I'm too fucking greedy. I'm too greedy. Really? Oh, fuck. no! I just I I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I can't do it. I just need to pick up the money, and it gets me hurt every single time. No. <laughs> It's a problem with me. It's not a problem with the character, I swear. But I'm just... I just have such such bad memories of having to pick up dropped casings. I really don't like it. <laughs> uh, as a mechanic for the character, I actually do think it fits really well. I, can, I can't fault the character itself. It's just me. My, my personal problems with trying to grab casings. For God's sake, it's happened already. No! I missed the sack! <laughs> just 
Oh my god, it'll never end. The horror. My own personal horror. My god. There's another one. Okay, I've got a key here. That's going to give us a nice amount of casings. Good, good. Okay, this guy could be a bit of a problem. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Do you know what? I'm going to see in the options. Is there any way that I can, like, turn off the decals or, like, massively reduce them? Because it would be lovely if I could. I've already got this on low. Let's go very low. See how that does. See if that's a little better. Okay, lots of keys here. Of course, we can't buy keys. Um, buy the flash ray. I, I, I'm actually going to buy the flash ray. Um, and then... I tried because I, I couldn't remember if re-rolling blanks worked. It's re-rolling guan stones that works in the shop. So I wasted a little bit of money there on a re-roll that I didn't actually need to use. But that's okay. We don't need our money for too much more of this floor anyways. So I'm okay with that. Keep going. Open that up. Got some trash. <laughs> the Molotov is really worthless for us. So not great. Yeah. Get in there with that. Oh, for God's sake. For some reason, I didn't drop much money there. Oh, it's because I don't have much money. <laughs> I didn't drop much there, but yeah. That's because I don't have much money. That, 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 that makes sense why. We should be able to get up to 40 again quite easily before our next chest. And this is definitely feeling a lot more a lot more balanced for hard mode, at least. We're losing a bit of casings here and there, but it's nothing major. Oh, for God's sake, there's fire everywhere. <laughs> Kind of the point, but <laughs> can't get by. Okay, we're up to 33. We're doing okay. Let's go with a flash ray again here. For a bit of range. That's kind of why I bought it. It's just that nice bit of extra range that we can use. Good. good. And you should be pretty easy. And drop some casings yourself. Nice one. One more baggy will do us. Oh, we're dead. Well, this is great. I literally can't see. And I dropped all my money again. Oh, really? You dropped the money up there, did you? Did I get the money? I did. Good. This room is not conducive for this character. Not, not a good one to go against. Okay. Where's the key? There's a key in here somewhere. I've got to find it. I got it. Okay, so now, now up to a good amount of casings again. Goddamn, Apache, you evil bastard. <laughs> this room. <laughs> I like the fact that it can show up on the first floor as well. Just to make it a little more evil. Really? It dropped... It always drops the sacks in the worst place for me to pick them up. Okay, I did get that one. Good. Got you. Okay. Really don't want to get hit again because I want enough money to be able to open chests here, so... Let's think about not being hit. Oh! That guy spawned next to me. Oh my god, so many explosions. Too many explosions. Good, good. That... This is a long room. Good, good. We got through it, though. We got through it. One more room. Oh, my God. Stop. Leave me alone. No, I'm stuck in the doorway. No. God damn it. <laughs> this character is so stressful for me. Oh, my God. Get us off the moon scraper. Oh, that hit me. Are you kidding? No. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't think there's even any health in the shop to buy, was there? Oh, my God. Let's just hope that this can save us. Let's just hope that this can save us. I doubt it. I'm just hoping. 
any attack looks big and scary. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Damn it. There's just, there's some, there's some crossed wire in my brain that says, sacrifice your life for the money. Even if it's dumb, just do it. <laughs> Even if you already have enough money to do everything you conceivably want to do this floor, grab that money. And that, that little wrongly crossed wire in my brain, it fights for it every single time. And it always gets me hit. And it always annoys the shit out of me. But I always do it. It's real stupid. But, I have to say, I, I, I keep complaining about various things, but this is nothing to do with the character, really. Can we... Yes! <laughs> it, the, the character's design is fantastic. It just, I think hard mode makes it so much more difficult. Also, pretty good, pretty good haul there. Oh, fuck. Pretty good haul. Might be wondering why I'm not charging this up. I don't really think it's worth it. Don't really think charging it up's that worthwhile. Yeah. The decals um, being on very low seems to definitely be helping with the lag, which is great. Didn't think it'd help as much as it did, but it seems to be helping. Oh no. D no, I want my money back. Leave me be, no, oh, you fucker. No! Oh! <laughs> it never ends. It never ends, people. The endless cycle of pain. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, now the decals just disappear. That's great. This is way better for me. Oh, no! 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 Lobulin Y! Lobulin Y! We're down to such low health already! Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Hard mode just does things to a man. <laughs> I still have, I still have an absolute blast though, I have to say. This character's so fun. Oh no! My money! No! No! I <laughs> see? I know it was such a bad idea to roll for that money, but I still fucking did it. Oh my god. This is a hard room. These guys slow us down a lot. I know there's money there. Turtle, don't go for it. No, I went for it anyways. My brain, it can't. There's more money, more money. Get it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Take me to the shop, please. This shotgun's so good if you just get in people's faces. Okay. Ammo look. Take me to the shop, please, game. I need it. I need it so bad. Okay. We made it. Right. Reroll. I will definitely take that. And I'll also take that and that. And you know what? I'll take that as well. Okay. We got a boss killer. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. As long as we can survive, this will be a good run. And we can check what's in chests now as well. So it, we know if it's worth spending the money on them, which is great. <clears throat> this is a pretty good boss to fight with this weapon as well. Oh my life. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. It just, like, the homing missiles tend to be able to hit these guys a bit easier. Nice, and that explosion destroyed an entire wave of bullets. There you go. We got a flawless. It finally happened, people. My god. Ooh, what's this? 
Ooh, it's a little robot boy. Venom Spit Drone. Shoots beams of venom towards enemies. Nice. Now we've got two little robot buddies. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> the stress is setting in. And I love it. Oh, this uh this is this is the true hard mode challenge. Turtle versus his crippling addiction to picking up coins. Who will win? Oh my life. Okay, the Venom Spit drone seems to be very good. Let me have that money. I need it. Did I get it? I don't know. It's cool if it played a little noise when you picked it up. I don't think it does. Or maybe I'm just missing it. Yes, the Venom's so strong. The Venom Spit Drone is... is it's added quite a lot of damage to our, um, our current situation. Smaller enemies like that are going to go down real fast. I will be sitting in a corner and hiding from everyone for a while. Gimme. Oh, 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 no! No, the more money I have, the more I draw. And the more it makes me do stupid shit. I think we've got a mini boss there, which scares me even more. And we have come across something bad. I'll be using my rocket for this, just because this room will be a nightmare if I don't. It will be a genuine nightmare, so... Yes. And we got armor back for it as well, so works out. Right. We need to go for a chest here. Let's go this way. We're doing okay. It's just, yeah, it's the scaling factor of if you get hit now, you drop even more coins. That, that really gets to me. That really triggers that thing in my brain. Like, no, you got to pick it all up. Also, this room is a nightmare. Hit the thing. Nice. Yeah. The nitros need to not explode upon spawning as well. <laughs> it's crazy when they do that. What you got for us? Do you, all stuff I don't really care about. Although, does battle... Do you reckon battle standard works with this little dude? I doubt it because it's it's venom. Let's, let's reroll everything. Okay, that did nothing. That, that spent all of my money and did absolutely nothing. Um, that's a bug. <laughs> that spent literally all of my money and didn't reroll anything. Not exactly sure what that's all about. But hey, her. Win some, you'll lose some, I guess. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why the game decided to punish me like that. What's in here? The rumor? Probably don't want to open that anyways. Liquid metal body's pretty good. Probably try and buy that. I mean, we can try and reroll this shop. Yeah, rerolling just doesn't work anymore. Don't know what happened, but rerolling's broken. It's good though. It's good that I'm finding these bugs. I'm glad I am. Okay, also, hard modified mini boss. Let's be careful. Oh my god. Oh, no. Ah. Shadow magicians, quite literally. Luckily, this gun was very powerful. We got through him relatively quickly. Flak bullets, definitely want that. Also, Mendy and Wendy, hello. Ow. Nope, there's no way we're getting enough money to do anything. No, how did that not work? Oh no! I'm dropping all my coins, people! Save me! I need you guys to drop some sacks for me. No! I got too close. I'm kind of playing reckless because we've got a Mendy and Wendy up there. As long as I don't die in this room, I can get full heal. 
Oh my god. Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna die in this room, aren't I? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, we're down to seven casings. We've earned negative, negative 15, I think. I did have like 200 and something, but my one reroll spent all of my money, so. <laughs> kind of makes this character a little bit bad when you don't have any money. <laughs> I mean, you can't open chests and the like. Stop doing that, Guild Hydra. This isn't Guild Hydra. I don't know why I always call this one Guild Hydra. It's the exotic. <gasps> Double sacks. Got ya. We've got enough. Flak bullets, you're mine. Come here, my flacky flackies. Thank you. I love the animation when he opens a chest. Oh, for God's sake, I got hit immediately. Gimme, gimme. We need more money. And I really don't need to be getting hit so much, God damn it! No! Stop getting hit, you fucking moron! I just want to open chests. Damn it, none of them dropped anything. Okay, class one stone, thank you. What you got for us? Ice giant, not that interested to be honest, but hey her. I, I would take it if I could afford it. Okay, the holster. My favorite boss. Genuinely, like, on this floor. Also, Venom is going to be real good against this guy. This has to be one of my favorite designed bosses on hard mode. And it's not just because I can do him. It's not just because I'm good at killing him. But that is definitely part of it. Oh my... Oh, fuck. I lost my flawless. I lost everything. No! It all went so wrong. <laughs> No! It all went so wrong so fast! Where did the t <laughs> Where did it all go wrong? Oh my god, that was that was brutal. I'll stop bragging, I'm sorry, game. I'll stop. <laughs> I just mean to anger you. You got one of my favorite guns though, so I'm happy. Right. Couldn't afford our chests, so let's get rid of all of those. What? Uh, we got the rumor anyways. No, thank you, but okay, that's strange. Never had that happen before. Is that a is that a exotic thing or what? Very strange. Very strange indeed. I have not seen such wizardry happen in my time. I gotta say, like, that's a... The room is like a B tier item, so you shouldn't be getting a B tier item from destroying a chest. That's that's bizarre. Anyways, it's mahogany time. It's the mahogany show. Cause I love this gun so much, really, really. You have to. Our venom shooter is. Eh, eh, nah, eh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I wanted that sack so bad. Whoa, new enemies. Oh, he's got like a slowing circle. I, by the way, the sprites on this guy are insanely good. Fits in so well with the danger mushrooms as well, the warning mushrooms. Um, without taking damage. I can maybe do that. I, no promises. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I definitely can't do that for you. I lied. Yep, I lied. What is this room? <laughs> What evil prick designed this? It was probably me. I just want the sack. No! I just want the sack! Get out of the way! No! It's gonna disappear! No! It's gone! I just wanted the sack! Fuck you, you big totem piece of shit! No! The cube! Fear the cube! All fear the cube! 
Fuck you, king. Suck my toes. Also, we lost all of our money, which is very sad. Oh, no. The debt. The debt. He spins. Fear the spinning ball of doom. Ah, you fucker. Oh, my God. That was a fun run. That was a fun run. I'm actually going to leave it there. A uh, bit of a shorter episode, but I think that this one is a good summary of this character. <laughs> just me panicking, stressing over money for just 25 minutes straight. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed a really fun run. Again, make sure to go into the description and the comments to check out the um, the questionnaire for sales items. I really want people to go and take a little look into that. It'll help out a lot with updating that mod and making it the best it can be. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.